guys, I'm Kelly Norton, your AZ Realty Lady, and welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, I am a real estate agent here in the Phoenix and surrounding areas. I've been selling real estate for over 20 years, and I'm a Valley native. So um, I like to help people with uh, buying and selling homes and also just kind of educating people about the Valley and uh, things with their home or the whole process. So. Today, we are going to be talking to a good friend of mine, Jarrell, and um, he is in the solar industry. So this might be a little bit of a lengthy video, so um, please bear with us. There's gonna be some amazing content. There always is, and uh, he's always just a plethora of knowledge. So hang in there, we'll be right back. Hi, I'm Kelly Norton, your AZ Realty Lady at EXP Realty. Count on me for all things Arizona real estate. A lot of the times, um, people think solar is like a one-size-fits-all. That's absolutely not the case. Right. Right. Um, kind of go quickly into it. I had a, one of the one of my friends was saying that his friend just bought a house, came out here from to Arizona, and was like, "Hey, I have solar on this roof. My payment is two twenty-five. Why the heck do I still have a three hundred dollar APS bill?" Cool. And it's cool. like, well, <laughs> mm -hmm. there's a lot of variables. Yeah. For that reason and yeah. so um the industry can get a bad rap because there's not enough knowledge and understanding that's out there right right and so a lot of the times is we have to look at with one of your clients hey is solar a good fit for me yeah is this house good enough there's we have to take in consideration a lot of things can you imagine going to a doctor's office and you say oh my eye's been leaking i've been sneezing they're like oh yep it's this right and exactly protection. It's, yeah. So it's kind of the same as we have mm -hmm. to look and say, okay, what's your usage like? How many people are inside your home? Now, the, the house, how long are you going to own the home? How long are you going to own the yeah. home? Did the people already have solar? Well, you're buying their house. Okay, cool. So what if they bought a 8,000 kilowatt system? We look at your previous usage at your other house that you're coming from. And what if you're using 20,000 kilowatts? Well, now you need to know this going into the home you're looking to buy because you're gonna pay this solar payment, but it's not enough to cover your to usage. Cover your usage. Yeah. yeah, that's super important um, because we do, we see a lot of times when, you know, I'll have a listing or even when I'm representing a buyer and then you get the bills, like you said, you'll see the bill and then you'll see what they're paying monthly. Right. Sometimes it totally makes sense. Right. And other times you're like, how is this possible? Right. Yeah, right. especially sometimes these are small houses. They're right. like 12 or 1500 square foot houses. And you know, I'm sitting there going, I know that they could, that this is kind of a rip off for right. what they're doing. So right. that's a really, really good point. Yes. Now, what about, um, this is always the question I get a lot is, what's the difference between buying it and leasing it but more importantly like what are the benefits of of either one is a question i get a lot too yeah. so i will say and i may get some flack for this but that's, that's okay. okay you know me i just like <laughs> shoot it the way it is and you got haters I, you got lovers and we'll take them all right <laughs> i am not a big fan of leasing I, yeah I, I don't think it's if you're essentially saying okay i'm gonna trade this one bill my aps bill that adds no value to my home. I'm constantly just paying this thing out and I'm going to replace that, go lease my system. Doesn't add any value to my home, as you know. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, I'm losing this money because it's not coming back to me. Right. And and I'll just tell the viewers too, when, when you lease solar and you're looking to buy the home, you actually have to qualify for that payment yes. of that solar. Absolutely. And so that actually can hurt you as a seller That's when you're going to sell your home and you have lease solar because now the, the amount that your buyer qualifies for, it just chomped down a little bit by that payment. So if that payment is 200 or 150 or 300, whatever it is, now their their full purchase value actually dropped so that's where we see in a, in a stable or a down market we see that being the biggest challenge with leased solar now in recent years it hasn't been a huge issue because the market was super hot and there wasn't enough homes so people didn't care they bought them with the lease they bought them with the own they didn't right, care right? right right yeah i mean they buy a house with a missing window and half the time missing <laughs> roofs like they don't care they bought the house but now yeah. when we're seeing a shift in the market yeah. it's really gonna matter because buyers yes. are gonna have more options and they're buckling down on their money because interest rates went up yes. 
So definitely something to, to consider with that leasing Absolutely. versus owning. And like you said, it definitely adds a value because when they own it, yeah. um, because number one, there's no real payment that they're, that they're doing. Well, you know? and I would say this too, um, if somebody says, you know, uh, purchased solar, make sure it's purchased fully right that there's not still a loan not on still it. loan yes yeah. and and it's different guys leased solar and ha and owing a balance of a loan on it they're they're different right so you want to you want to make sure that and that's where um make sure you have an agent that's familiar with solar not all agents are a lot of agents have have um an opinion one way or the other i am fully open on on both sides of the the argument it because there's so many variables with yeah. it and that's where like why i brought a professional in today to talk about it because it really isn't a one size fits all no it's not and that's why it is so important how about like the maintenance agreements on yeah. these like who's responsible if there's a roof leak let's say they had solar for five years okay. and then all of a sudden now there's a roof leak like how does that work with if they need to take it off take the panels off oh boy yeah, yeah that's did i did that's i just good. open up pandora's box <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be a fun one i can say not all companies but for sure, my company or what we do is we offer a 30 year warranty bumper to bumper on the roof and on the panels. Yeah. Right. That's awesome. So it's already covered in there. It's like having insurance. Read right? the paperwork. Definitely read the paperwork because yeah. if you go get solar and there's no warranty, ugh, it's going to get pretty expensive really quickly. Yeah. And you're talking somewhere like upwards of $300 per panel to remove them. Yeah. And that doesn't. That's not the labor of putting them back on. Mm -hmm. Wow. And then imagine you still have to repair the roof. And yes. That can get kind of. Yeah. So I would suggest uh, if you know that the home that you are either looking to purchase or you already have a house and you want to put solar, make sure that the company is also looking at the roof because you don't want to put you know this expensive solar system on a roof that's going to collapse the next time yep you know we're in arizona so the monsoon season happens. that's true right? guys <laughs> yeah like serious i i had a buyer that you know was purchasing a home and they were saying oh yeah you know we have this solar solar's only been on there a year yeah. and um so i asked i said was there a certification done on the roof before it was put on and she couldn't find it and so um yeah, we did the home inspection. This roof need to be replaced mm -hmm. any moment. And yeah. so, yeah, so it's something where, you know, you've got to know what condition that roof was in before those solar panels go on. So representing, you yeah. know, the buyer on that one, it was like, okay, well, well, let's try and negotiate this. I mean, if somebody really likes the house, we can try and find a work away or work around for it. But um, so it's not an immediate, oh, let's bail. No, we can usually yeah. try and work something out, yeah. but as the seller god wouldn't that suck it would yeah because now a buyer is going to want some kind of a mm -hmm. you know so, some kind of a compensation a your roof needs to be replaced but on top of the roof bill yeah. now you have all of these solar charges right. that are going to be incurred unless yes you've gone with someone like Jarrell that that contract actually covers <laughs> you so the roof has yes. already been in good shape yes. you already know that it is mm -hmm. so what happened happens if you take a look at it and it is like okay wow this roof has seen better days um so what happens do you make them do that or is there some kind of a like yeah. you know is, is that an exclusion in your warranty like how does that work and that's a great question because i know one of the things people always ask is like do my does my home qualify for solar now if if that is going on with your roof okay we're going to definitely take a look at it and so sometimes let's just say you're paying whatever whoever your utility company is and you're saving say $90,000 over 25 years. Okay, so we give you a roof quote and let's just, I'm just throwing numbers out there. I don't know yes, for sure exactly. don't to it. <laughs> let's say a brand new roof is $20,000. Mm -hmm. So then now you're at a $70,000 savings over 25 years. Okay. So it would make sense if we just go, okay, let's just get you a new roof. What, right? Yeah. 
just be on the safe side. And so with those, so in those situations, do you guys have roof contractors that you work with or do you allow the homeowner to choose a contractor uh, and go either we way? We actually will have people that we work with um, because we're very much protective of our brand. So yeah. we want to make sure that um, whoever's coming out is somebody that's been certified by us. Yeah, it takes quite some time to get certified. Got it. You can't just say, "Hey, I do roofs." And yeah. Like, okay. Cool. It's, yeah. You know, there's, right. There's and an extensive process. That's awesome because there are companies that are will take any living, breathing contractor, roofer, and so forth. And people often will ask me, like, you know, do you have a roofer, and or do you have a plumber or electrician, and sometimes that's kind of a revolving door for yes. me because, like you're you're good on my list until you screw somebody over you're not honest Jeez. or you inflate your prices once you feel like oh hey you know yeah. i got these coming in i'll just raise my prices so right. yeah so i get it i mean people need to be they need to do a good job need to be fair and um and i would imagine it could end up being kind of a liability for you guys Absolutely. so and yeah that is why if i may solar is the wild wild west out here yeah. Because you have your monopolies <laughs> with the utility bills, they can charge whatever they want. Yeah. And then you're just like, just get me out of this, you know, utility bill that I'm paying. And then it's like, okay, I will, but then you're at what cost? Right. Because then you get a company that's here today, gone tomorrow, and they exactly. can charge you as much as they want. Yeah. And when someone's focused on on that pain point of that yes. utility bill, sometimes they like block out everything else that's important. Absolutely. And that's where making sure you're dealing with somebody that is trustworthy, that isn't going to just tell you what you want to hear and only focus on that one piece yeah. and actually make sure that it is a good fit, that it is cost effective, you're getting the right system. Right. Those are all really important factors. So I'm so glad that we went over that. One of the questions that I get a lot is people come from other states mm -hmm. where their solar is and I don't understand it totally so hopefully you can help me with their solar is like bought back or they get some kind of a credit back so I guess some solars might work where it's an immediate and then others it's like a bank and a buyback yeah. or can you explain that to people so that they understand how it is in Arizona Ooh, this is gonna be a spicy one <laughs> Oh my God! Send get all, our Halloween yeah. videos out. Send all your hate mail. What's your email again? All right. <laughs> Just send it my way. It's okay. Arizona actually gives us a thousand dollar state tax. Okay. Uh, and right now, APS specifically will buy it back at nine cents per kilowatt. Okay. Okay. That number is going to go down because obviously there's a certain monopoly out there. There's a few of them they don't want people going solar because mm -hmm. that's less money in their pockets yes yes so when it comes time to vote somebody maybe slid some money just to make sure that you know oh they feel the same way yeah i know right <laughs> Vote. <laughs> Vote. <laughs> so they want to make sure that those incentives come down so less people are willing to go into solar Got it. Okay. So that nine cent buyback kind is of thing. gonna start oh. going down. Ultimately, yes, there is a buyback, but it will start dwindling down. It's just like solar, the incentives were what, 32, 34% yeah. of the tax credit. Mm -hmm. Now they're down to 26 this year. Next year is supposed to be 22%. And then it's supposed to go away. Um, 2024, we'll see. But as those things get voted on, Right. There's certain people that who don't can want those. Affect it. The longer you wait, the less benefits you're going to get, and Got that's it. just the reality. It's the sad Good reality. Good point. Good yeah. point. The longer yeah. you wait, and then on top of that, um, they're supposed to be voting on: Are they going to make solar uh, a mandate? You have to get it. Mm. New construction homes. Let's just say you go out and go buy a new home. It's, yes. You're going to. If not, there's going to be a fine. This is not official. Put that like somewhere at the bottom. Right. It's not well. official, <laughs> but it is something that will be voted. Beep, beep, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Service announcement. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. is not official. Yeah. Yeah. This is just hearsay. Yes. But we are saying it here yeah. for the hearsay. And if you get mad, my name is Durrell. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not Jarrell anymore. Yeah. Oh my God, that's awesome. And I'm Shelly. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> um, yeah. So when someone is building a new home, mm -hmm. do how does that work if like let's say they're building with one of the builders mm -hmm. in town and they want to do solar mm -hmm. do they have to use the solar company that that builder is contracted in do they have to wait until after the home is built is it something they can wrap in their loan i know i'm asking like five questions in one but it oh, all intertwined my only part with that is like you said if the builder already has a contract with that solar company right if they do i personally don't know a way around that Right. If they don't, I would tell you something. Unless you can do it after. Yes. And then the after. You can do it after. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, it's funny you asked that. Well, one of my friends uh, actually owns a construction company. So he builds homes. Okay. And we were just having this conversation of him putting solar onto these houses. Now he's the builder. Yeah. Right? But if a person is looking to say, hey, I want to put solar on here, yep. then yeah, there, there there, would be a way that it would make it a little bit more of an easier transition and just say, hey, this is what I want to do. Let's just go ahead and get this built on it now as mm -hmm. everything is brand new. So, um, you know, as far as the loan process is concerned though, yeah, that's a tricky question. Yeah, yeah. I, a lot uh, of things pop in mind. Yeah. Being married to an appraiser, yeah. it kind of pops in my head of, hmm, how are they gonna appraise that? Because yeah. you have to be able to compare to a like similar property. Right. So if there's no other new homes that have the solar on there, this can be right. a real nightmare for an appraisal. Right. And yeah. so that would be something that I would say we would have to go case by case and figure out as that time goes on. Yeah. Um, because we don't want to say yes and it's no and no and no right. it's yes. Well, and if the builder is doing all of them that way, then that of course gets a little bit easier. You've it obviously found a workaround when, you know, a way to make it work when you're doing, just doing that for right. all of them. So, right. or as an option for all of them. Absolutely. So, okay. You probably already knows this, but for viewers, it's really important to remember most builders don't have all the builders freak out and give me hate mail. There's a lot of builders out there that every single thing that you upgrade in your home or that they recommend mm. they're getting a piece of that pie mm -hmm. so remember just because you're financing it or rolling it into your loan you think that you're saving yourself money by doing it up front and not doing it after but you really need to compare apples and apples again like we talked about check the contract mm -hmm. uh, make sure that this is something that's warranted the, the roof and then also you want to make sure that you're not being overcharged because a percentage of that is going to the builder. So everything you do in the house. Oh, hello, Kona. Hello. Kona's coming to say hello. <laughs> <laughs> He's nice and warm. He was out in that uh, sun. <laughs> Figured out how to get back in. <laughs> yes, he was at the door a minute ago and it was hilarious. We have a doggy door and he's sitting at the slider like barking at us wanting to come in. It's pretty funny. Um, so yeah, he figured out how to come in. That's so yeah so i think it's important pe for people to really understand anything that you do in the house um whether it's countertops cabinets anything that you upgrade there is a little percentage of that so if you can do it afterwards so landscaping is a big one i always tell people too and i know i'm kind of going off topic but no, landscaping no. solar pools anything like that that you can't afford to do afterwards a lot of times it's going to be more beneficial for you on the cost point because the builder's not going to be able to take a cut on it so um, like what would be the best candidate for solar yeah so i um, mean what if somebody so for example let's say someone's lived in their home for like 25 years um maybe they're you know, middle age it was their first house. They lived there 25 years. Like, is that a good candidate for solar? It could, it, it, if everything else qualified, like let's say they put a roof on a couple years ago. So you're saying the roof is all good. Yeah. Like, it, is that a good candidate or is there a better candidate? Like building a home with solar. Solar is great for anybody who wants to own instead of rent. Yeah. Everybody wants to own their house. Everybody yeah. wants to own their house. Nobody wants to rent. Same concept here. You can own your electricity or you can rent it. Got it. Knowing that when you rent. Mm, that's a really it. great perspective. Yeah. I've actually never even thought of it that way. Yeah. Mind blown. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're right. Mm -hmm. You That's an investment. Mm -hmm. But now you are yep. owning. Yeah. That. Wow. Instead of paying the utility companies. Yes. I didn't even ever think, honestly, never thought of it that way. Absolutely. That's huge. Now, here's where I clean it up. Okay. 
cleaning. Please let's not out. go to all the senior citizens, you know, in their 70s, 80s, and we're pitching solar. I'm not saying they're not going to have a long life, but I mean, come on. It may not be as beneficial. Yeah, you never know. And they could be having to move into a senior care center. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So those are the people that I personally, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not eliminating anybody. I'm just saying that I would not personally go out seeking right. that community. And also, I, I know the way you are, like truly a genuine person that actually cares um, that you know, if you do find yourself in that, in that, you know, age bracket and you're wanting to learn about solar, you know, make sure that you have someone that you trust. You can reach out to me, you can reach out to Jarrell. He'll tell you the pros and the cons for your situation. And he'll, you know, it's not going to offend you by hopefully, you know, yeah. <laughs> you know don't take offense to yeah. it. Um, but he, he wants you to just think of the bigger picture. And it's the same way that I run my business. I have people that call me too, and they want to you know, they, they want to sell their house and I'll ask a lot of questions. And sometimes like selling their house isn't the right thing for them Yes. unless they absolutely have to. And I'll go through that with them yes. when you and I both know that there's vultures in uh, both of our industries that will absolutely. just be like, I want the sale. I'll take it. No problem. Yes. And won't actually go over those pros and cons. And that's yes. huge. You want to make sure that you're dealing with someone that's trustworthy and that can truly educate you on whether or not you really need it, what the pros and cons are, and then you get to make the decision, not having the person that's trying to sell you something yes. make the decision for you. Yes, because that's gonna be a problem because if I have to convince you and push this on you as something you didn't even want, then it's like nothing's ever gonna be smooth. Right. right? And so, and to help somebody out there, if you are in a home and this is just for the older community, you're in a home and your house has stairs, but yet you're asking, should I get solar? But then you know going up and down those stairs are getting harder and harder. Yeah, yeah don't go get solar. Don't go invest that much into the home. Right. Yeah, uh, knowing that these stairs are getting harder and harder, so your days there may be limited. So, exactly. Yeah. No, I, that's a really, really good point for just sure. Just a few things to really, like I said earlier, it's just there's so many variables with solar. So we really have to just sit down and see, okay, are you going to be a perfect candidate for what we're looking to do? Because if not, then let's try to help you by not causing headaches. Let's take away headaches. Let's start eliminating if it's not a good fit for you. Yeah. That's just the way I would That's say. perfect. Yeah. That's what I like. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, thanks so much for being here. <laughs> I appreciate it. And um, we'll go ahead and in the description of the video, we'll have all of Jarrell's information. You can certainly reach out to him. Um, and again, I'm Kelly Norton. I'm the AZ Realty Lady and I help people that look to relocate to or within the Phoenix and surrounding areas. All of the suburbs, you name them, I help you. Um, and what areas do you cover? Uh, we cover all of Arizona, actually, um, multiple states, up to 20 states. So we'll have something in the... Perfect. Yeah. yeah. The we'll scene. throw something on there for them. So perfect. And guys, remember, subscribe to the channel. Click the little bell. That way you're notified uh, when we put up new videos. And make sure that you like this video. Uh, that way people can really see that with some good information. And if you have any questions or feedbacks, comments, go ahead and put them on the video. I'd appreciate that as well. Um, again, good, bad, or ugly. I don't care. That's fine. No problem. Uh, so anyhow, thanks again for watching. And uh, thank you again for being here. Appreciate thank, it. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Take care, guys. Yeah.